Well, hello there. This is the Dean, and I'm, today I'm going to show you how to create a bullet effect. Let's go over to here on something I've already made, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. There are two points in there where there is a bullet effect or where I used After Effects right here and right here so I'm gonna show you how to do that bullet it's probably gonna be two part tutorial depending on how much time it takes so I'm gonna show you how to make the bullet so let's open up Blender get rid of our default cube by hitting X and here we are. I'm actually going to delete the camera too because we're just going to make our own camera. We're going to make a cylinder and then we're going to make a UV sphere. And now we're going to drag our UV sphere up so it just give me one second. Wanna go to the top view and just well, look from the bottom and just make sure that the top of it doesn't isn't too fat might have to scale it down like the slightest bit it's too much Control Z whatever it's good so now shift and then right click on the bottom so both of are selected now control J join selected mess it mess whatever join them up all together now we have our bullet nice now we're gonna rotate so R and then Y 90. Now we have it pointed in the right direction. Now we're in its space. Add camera. There's our camera. R Y. Rotate Y. Oops. R Y. Should think it's R X. Yeah, R X. One. I think negative 90. No, that's upside down. Try 180. 27. Keeps just turning upside down. Rotate Y 180. You get the idea, because it has to be facing the right way. Okay, there's our camera. And depending on your shot, let's go back over here. Make that smaller. So, as you can see over here, oops, here we are. That's how big the bullet is. And you can't really scale it down that much, because it has to cross the whole thing so it pretty much has to work out well. So I'm gonna drag this out pretty far back. Not too far, because then it'll you won't even see it. So camera a little farther. View camera. Make scale this down about where you want it. Right out there is good. And just to make our lives easier, I'm going to change the render settings to the size that it's going to be. So my footage is in 720p, so I'm going to make it 1280 by 720. So you see that that resized. So now you can see it works out quite nicely. And this outer dotted box is the is what's going to be rendered. So now you can go to render current frame, and you see that the bullet's right over here. Great. Okay, as number one. Now we're going to animate our bullet so it goes across the screen. We're going to go up here, animate, or animation. Oops. There's our bullet right there. I don't have a numpad, but you probably, actually, never mind. Okay, there it is. Now we're going to hit I, lock. That'll lock it in place. Now, actually, you know what? I'm going to drag it a little bit farther out so it's... Off the fr off the screen when it starts. Lock. Depending on how much time you have, you can speed this up. I'm gonna do it in 60 frames a second, so you can have some headroom for slowing it down. You could even do it in, in 120 or 240 or whatever. But it's fine for me. About depending on what how fast you want it to go. I'm gonna say three seconds. After three seconds, I want it to go all the way across the screen and off. Lock. So now if I drag through here I can have my bullet floating along 
Nice. Now we can go to animation. Oops. Go to model. There we are. Go back to one. And if I hit Alt A, play back the, the animation. There it goes. Now, this part, you're going to have to look at your footage. So, go back to. Just look at this. This is the original footage without the bullet. If we look here, we can see. Wait. Uh, hiding on. Okay. So, we can see that. I just have to go sit down. I don't have a camera crew, unfortunately. We have to look at where the lights are in the scene, and you probably don't know because you can't really see them. There's a light up here, there's one on the right, there's one behind the camera on the left, and then there's one behind the camera on the far right. So we're going to recreate that in Blender with lights. So we have one light right here, and like I said, one of the camera, one of them is right about here, shift D. Then there was, there's actually a light right here, about, yeah, shift D, and then there's a light over here, shift D, then there's a light over here. And this is pro, let's see what it looks like, because putting a bunch of lights, you might have to lower the intensity, because of the amount of them, let's take a look. It actually doesn't look too bad, the way there's a shadow on the bottom, and there's light up here, it's probably going to look pretty good in our scene. Close that up. Now we're going to color our bullet. So let's just focus on it. This is numpad period. Oops. View. There we go. I don't have a number pad on my laptop, so it sucks for me. But you might, so it's number pad period. Go over here. You want to color it. Add new. Go to the color. And what color is the bullet? The bullet's kind of like a brass. Oops. Like a brass yellow ish right there. Not too intense. But there. That's okay. Let me just show one more time. Less brass. Whatever. That's fine. I think I made it worse. But whatever. So, here's our bullet. It's still animated. It's all good. Bring that back. It kind of pretty much looks like a bullet. Let's just render it one more time. Render, render. Oops, no. I didn't mean to do that. I want to go to render current frame. There we are. Looks like a bullet. When I made it before, I didn't color it, but I think you should. And I mean, if you ever seen a bullet, maybe there's like a little rim right here. So you might want to create a circle, put it right there, and make it black so you have a nice rim or maybe you could like make a texture and you can put something right here that says like made for you buddy or something really cool like that so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to render and we're gonna go to key so you can key so it pretty much creates like a virtual green screen see how it's black it's already matted so you can just get rid of that in After Effects really easy so Blender people think of you. It's all good. And you change this to AVI Raw, which is nice and lossless. Frame rate, you can put to whatever you want. I'm probably going to do 60 because my frame, because my thing is 30. And I can slow it down or speed it up as much as I want, which is pretty cool. So now we got it, and you pretty much just click animate. You'd want to start and end it where you want, but it's not a big deal. So you just click animate. And I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to stop this, click animate, and then we'll start back up for number two, or part two. So stop capture, and I'll see you in part two of this tutorial.